humidity and now we get the storms. Storms. That's what we're watching for <laughs> it's here. All coming, yeah. And you know, as usual for Kansas City, it's never like an easy setup for us. Or it's yeah. kind of a conditional setup, meaning, well, if this happens, then this might happen. Or if the storms develop a certain it's like way, then seventh grade math there. If you know, this, then that yeah. It, that's exactly yeah. that's exactly it, right? <laughs> so here's how we're looking right now. As you look towards the west, we have that kind of milky, hazy sky. We're cloudy. It's 80 degrees. We had a warm weekend, but it wasn't humid. That's changed today, though. Look at the humidity level, 60%. So we've got quite a bit of moisture in the air. The wind has picked back up out of the southeast. We're gusting at 32 miles an hour. So it's breezy. It's warm. We're all dry right now. 82 in Lee Summit, 82 in Grandview, 81 for Overland Park and Shawnee. Olathe, you're at 80 degrees. Liberty at 82. Same for Cameron, 85 in Lawrence. So it's warm, it's humid, feels a little bit like summer. As far as any rain or thunderstorms, we're not seeing anything locally. In fact, out in the central parts of Kansas and Nebraska, things are pretty quiet out there as well. And that's the area that we're monitoring for storm development as we go through the evening. Eventually, those storms are going to move eastward overnight into our morning tomorrow. Now, out ahead of it, we might see an isolated shower or thunderstorm, so a slight chance later on this evening, but the bulk of your evening is going to be dry, so think for your evening plans. We're looking pretty good, and our temperatures are going to start cooling back into the 70s. So not a bad evening for us, but like I was talking about with Matt and Kelly, we have kind of a conditional setup here for tomorrow. So really two scenarios that we are monitoring. We were talking about this over the weekend. Nick was talking about it this morning. So scenario number one, we get those big storms out west, and then as they arrive, they're weaker, and that would set us up then for a greater risk later in the morning into the afternoon for storms to refire and potentially become severe. That's scenario number one. Scenario number two, those storms that will develop out west, they're a little bit stronger when they arrive tomorrow morning. We'll see more storms, more clouds. That would then reduce our risk of seeing severe weather developing Tuesday afternoon. As of right now, we're kind of more so leaning towards the first scenario here. That's what looks a little more likely. We'll see some rain around. The bigger storms where you see the orange will be out towards central parts of uh, Kansas and Nebraska. They'll weaken as they move in early in the morning tomorrow. Some small hail, some wind gusts of 40 to 50 are possible, but I don't think we'd see much of that. Then as we go out of the morning into the early afternoon, those storms will start to redevelop and refire more so in our far northeastern communities, a little bit closer to Chillicothe and Trenton, into north central and northeastern Missouri, where you see the orange here. Larger hail could develop, stronger wind gusts, and there's a greater risk of seeing a tornado or two, again, in that orange area. And then the metro here, we're kind of just on the fringe of that. So what does that look like hour by hour on future scan? This evening, mainly dry. You see a few showers. Let's look at 11 o'clock. Could develop, not severe. The bigger storms are going to be out west. We get the leftovers. They're 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. They move in as we head through the morning hours. Then we get some of that redevelopment as we go through the afternoon. And notice that it's mostly focused off to our north and northeast. And it could even be more so up into Iowa and far northeast of Missouri with then a few leftover showers uh, as we head through the afternoon. So all that being said, download our KNBC 9 News app that way you can get those alerts on the go. Of course, you can watch us on KNBC as well. We're going to keep you updated here if we get any sort of uh, watches or warnings as we go through the morning hours tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon. We're dry on Wednesday. Another system moves in on Thursday. That's not looking severe, but it could bring us some more rain, some thunderstorms. We do need the moisture. Notice it's going to be cooler. 64 on Thursday, then highs only in the 50s heading into the weekend.